Skygazers have reason to keep looking up as a meteor shower is set to peak this week right before a full moon rises. The Lyrid meteor shower will be most active Sunday night through the early morning hours of Monday, with up to 18 meteors per hour expected to be visible. However, the brightness of the full moon, also known as the pink moon, may interfere with the visibility of faint meteors. Experts advise onlookers to go outside at least 10 to 15 minutes before attempting to spot a meteor, allowing their eyes to adjust to the darkness. While the Lyrids will be most visible in the Northern Hemisphere, those in the Southern Hemisphere may not see as many meteors due to the radiant point not rising high enough in the night sky. It is recommended to view the meteor shower with the naked eye rather than using telescopes or binoculars. The pink moon, visible to all across the world, will reach its full phase at 7.49 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. Despite its name, the full moon may not appear pink but could occasionally take on a reddish hue near the horizon due to Earth's atmosphere. Skygazers can also look forward to upcoming meteor showers throughout the year, including the Eta Aquariids, Perseides, Orionids, and Geminids. Additionally, there are supermoons expected in September and October where the full moon will appear larger and brighter in the night sky. While the total solar eclipse on April 8th was a highly anticipated event, an annular solar eclipse is set to occur on October 2nd over parts of South America, creating a ring of fire effect in the sky. A partial lunar eclipse will also be visible over various regions in September. These celestial events offer sky enthusiasts a chance to marvel at the wonders of the universe and our connection to the cosmos.